Hey friends, today I'm going to be cleaning and showing you all of my favorite and top cleaning products and tools. I'm also going to be trying out three different grout cleaning methods to see what really and truly works and also sharing some of our top family recipes, three meals and two healthy snacks. So let's get excited. Let's do this together. Hey guys, how are you doing? Are you ready for some cleaning and recipe motivation and inspiration? If you are, then this video is going to be perfect for you. I'm bringing you along as I test out three different grout cleaning methods and we're gonna see which one truly works the best. So this was on day one. This will be filmed over a couple of days. Here on day one, I was getting our bedding going in the washing machine and I was spraying this allergen spray on our bed, which I like to do from time to time because my allergies have been acting up. I got it off of Amazon and I will have it linked in the description as well as all of the other cleaning products and tools that I'm using. You can find those in the video's description. How are you guys doing? Whatever day it is, night, daytime, how are you doing? Are you hanging in there? Um, I know I should talk a little bit more about my low energy days or like down days or just bad mood days in general, but it's just one of those things where I don't want to get on social media and complain or, you know, I don't want to bring anyone else down. Um, but being fully transparent, you know, I'm watching this video, editing it, and you know, these were days that I was feeling good, had so much energy, and then as I'm editing the video and doing the voiceovers today, I am feeling blah, like no energy, I have not been productive, have, have gotten very few things done today, and I'm just not feeling it. So here's a little reminder that, you know, we all have our down days, our days where we don't want to get stuff done or we're not productive. That's real life. So just wanted to throw that out there um, because, yeah, it's just like a blah day. But I am hopeful and I know that tomorrow will be a better day. I recently got this Scrub Daddy Power Paste and I really, really like it. Um, you probably have seen me use it here on my channel already. I just got it like a couple of weeks ago. It comes with the Scrub Daddy sponge and it has like a rougher side and then a softer side. And then you just wet the sponge and then you take the rougher side, put it in the paste, rub it on the stovetop. Um, you can also use this in like other parts of your kitchen or your bathroom. And um, I personally have not tested it on anything else but my stovetop. But you just wet the sponge um, and you can see the burnt stuff that was on the stovetop, how well it came off. So you use like the rougher side of the sponge. And then when you're done, you just re-wet the sponge and use the softer side to get all of the paste off. And I always go in first with my Jaws degreaser spray. And then for like a deeper clean, I use the power paste or the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser. And then I shine it all up with my Jaws glass cleaner. What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me when we dance in the dark. We're dreamers. We live in We're dreamers. We're doing this in our own way. We come alive. Something about 
So I have a couple of different products that I use to clean or scrub out my sink. But when I just need something quick, easy, and fast, I grab that Dawn Power Wash. I mean, I think it's great. Dawn Power Wash is great in so many areas of my home in general. But, you know, it's just right there by my sink. I grab it, spray it, scrub away, and it does a really, really good job. So here in a little bit, I am also going to share some of our like top go-to family recipes. I thought it would be fun while I'm share sharing with you some of my favorite cleaning tools and products. What are the recipes that are like our default? Like when we don't know what else we're making, everyone likes, this is where we go. So I will be sharing those at the end of the video. I really can't wait to share with you guys when I tested out the grout cleaning products. I actually went to my friend's house, friend slash neighbor, so you'll see her bathroom looks very similar to mine, but I wanted to test it out on her grout because we were talking and she was like, um, it's been a long, long, long time since I cleaned my grout. She's a busy mom. She has two kids and a lot of activities. She's a nurse practitioner. So I was like, oh, this will be perfect. I can try it out on some grout that has not been cleaned in a while. Um, but I'll be showing that here soon. Um, but this is one of the easiest ways I have found to clean window tracking. You just take some baking soda, sprinkle it in the window tracking, or in this case, the door tracking, and then pour some white distilled vinegar to make it bubble up. And then you get a wet vac to suck out all of, um, the liquid. You can get a wet vac at most home improvement stores i think a lot of people use them in their garage like i borrowed my father-in-law's because um he actually has a couple different ones um but you just want something that can suck up water um and i will tell you that it didn't work as well on the door tracking here as it did on the window tracking because with the door tracking you have that added bar that runs down the center and so that did make a difference because i wasn't able to get the 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 wet vac tool all the way in there um, i'll have some clips you guys can see of when i use it on the window tracking and it's just it's just a super easy quick way to clean your window tracking and it's just nice because um i mean you can find some fairly inexpensive wet vacs and you can also use it like to clean your car and do other things so it could be a good investment And then this is a, another super simple and easy way to maintain your window tracking or door trackings. You just get a regular sponge. I think I got this one from Walmart. You make cuts in it um, down the sponge and then you get it wet and you can just slide it back and forth. And like I said, I mean, it's not like a deep clean of the door tracking, but it can help maintain in between deep cleans.
So this is a wall cleaning tool that I love. Um, you could also, you know, use it to clean cabinets. I got it off of Amazon. I will have it linked in the description, um, but I like pairing it with the Zep foaming wall cleaner. I think I get it from Home Depot. Um, I've also used hot water and Dawn dish soap to clean my walls so if you don't have a cleaner you can also use that they're just good because they don't strip the paint but they do a good job of getting stuff off of the walls but it's super easy to just spray the foaming wall cleaner and then use a wall cleaning tool after that it's just nice because it allows me to get up pretty high and if you have trouble getting on your hands and knees or bending over this is your tool So here I was cleaning our bathroom and the main focus today was the shower. And you guys know that I hate cleaning the shower in here. I don't do it every week because I hate it. Um, but I was using the Jaws foaming bathroom cleaner and then I was going to use this cleaning tool that I had recently gotten to try out. Um, you know, I'm always trying to find, yes, cleaning products and tools that work for me, but you guys don't all have the same houses or same type of showers or bathtubs or, you know, whatever. So I like to try to find cleaning tools that can help you guys as well. And so if you're someone who has a hard time bending over, reaching things, then this is an amazing tool. Um, or even if you aren't as mobile or you just have a hard time bending over, this, it's like a scrubber, but on a long pole. So you charge it by plugging it in. So it's like super simple. It doesn't run on batteries. And it did a really good job of um, getting all of the stuff out of my shower door tracking. Now I also have drill attachments, like power drill attachments that I use to clean. But with that, you're going to have to get down on your hands and knees. So again, if you're just someone who has a hard time moving around, bending over, getting on your hands and knees to scrub, this could be an option for you. I've personally never used it on my shower. This was the first time, but I've tested it out with my parents and my friend shower and I just thought it would be really cool for this video because I do believe it's a good cleaning tool. There's multiple heads so depending on what you're cleaning it's a great tool. Um, but I'm also using jaw a lot of the jaws cleaners here in the bathroom that it stands for just add water systems so you reuse the bottles and you just buy the little pods you fill up your bottle with water pop in a pod and that's it so you're not there's not as much waste. Um, they have a very light scent, so it's not overpowering at all. And I personally think they're affordable. They're also non-toxic. Um, I have a coupon code for 25% off. It's not an affiliate link. I don't make anything if you use my link. And I just say that because I'm like, I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. I just, I do believe they're good products and I just like that they are really affordable. So I will have all of like the link in the coupon code in the description as well. You touch me in a way that makes me shiver. Sometimes I can't believe that you are my I have never used Dawn Power Wash in the bathroom, but a lot of people rave about it. So I was like, let's give it a try. I really, really like Dawn Power Wash. And so I was like, 
hey, if it's so great in the kitchen, it's got to be great in the bathroom. And I use it on my shower doors and it did a really good job. I've also heard people saying to keep one in your laundry room. So when you have stains, you just spray it on there, let it sit for a few minutes and then wash like normal. I have not tried that, but I need to. So stay tuned because after I'm done cleaning our bathroom, it'll be a different day. I'll be going to my friend's house to test out the grout cleaners and then I'm going to share some of our favorite recipes. So stay tuned because I thought it would be fun. Let's share some of our favorite recipes and our favorite cleaning tools. Okay, so I am here at my friend's house to test out some grout cleaners. Um, I have used this one for years. It's a foaming carpet cleaner. So you don't think of it as being a grout cleaner, but it works really good. And I've had a lot of you guys message me that you've tried it and you're dirty grout and it works. I've also had a lot of people recommend this. I've never tried the Zep grout cleaner. Um, I've used other Zep products. There's a foaming wall cleaner that I use all of the time, but I get this recommended to me all of the time. So I picked some up at Home Depot and I thought, let's give it a try. And then this one, my steam shot, it comes with different attachments and this is the grout cleaning attachment. And I figured let's give this one a try as well. And it's just nice because you're not using any products, any chemicals, um, but we will see if this holds up with these. We'll see which one works better. I have a couple different methods I'm gonna try and we'll see what we can do.
So just by having the zep sit on parts of the grout, I could already see dirt just pulling up from the grout before I even scrubbed. So that was awesome and very encouraging to see. So I put it on there. Um, so I put the cleaners on the grout, but then when I wiped them up, it was hard to see because it was wet. And you know, when grout's wet, it looks dark. So I got a hair dryer to dry the grout to see which one truly worked better. And I thought the camera doesn't do doesn't give it full justice i feel like it looked better in per the resolve looked better in person than what it does on camera but i was impressed with both of them so far but i was gonna keep going and try like other areas of the bathroom because i didn't want to just do one test and i also wanted to try my bissell steam shot hand steamer All right, I'm a little shocked. Look how bright that is. Okay, so again, steamer. That's the Zep. And then that's the Resolve. I think right now the Resolve and the steamer, I think the steamer for my little test seems to be the winner. So like I said, I was just going around and testing all three methods in various parts of the bathroom. So the one difference was when I first tried the Zep and the Resolve foaming, I didn't want to scrub. Like I just wanted to let them sit there for a few minutes to see how they would do without any scrubbing. Because obviously the goal is always like what what can I what product can I find that will cause me to do the least amount of work you know so I wanted to try out with no scrubbing so that was the first test that you guys saw and then I wanted to do it with some scrubbing um, using my Rubbermaid power scrubber and I will say that I don't think that the camera like I said earlier like more that I, I test it I just don't think the camera I when I look at it on camera it looks like the resolve is doing the worst but outside of the camera, I'm like, oh, I think it's like right up there with the Zep. So I don't know. Um, before I give you my final re review on what I think through all of these after I used all of them throughout the bathroom, um, like I just wanted to test it on as many areas as I could. Um, also keep in mind that grout is made up of different things. Like we have sanded grout, which is different than other types of grout. So you want to know like what type of grout you have. Like for me personally, just because one works, um, better than the other doesn't mean like, I guess what I'm trying to say is, just i'll give you my final thoughts but i think that all three of these are really really good um and i think you know maybe one might work for one person another for another depending on the type of grout or how dirty their grout is um but if you guys have any if you've tried these let me know but i'll tell you right now i am pretty impressed with the bissell steam shot for sure but i think these are all products that i will continue to keep around and use
Okay, for the verdict. I honestly say that all three of these are great grout cleaning methods. Um, I think it's gonna depend on the type of grout you have. We have sanded grout, so you have to be careful with sanded grout on how much you're scrubbing. Um, so I think that, I think these are two great products to use. That's a great product to use, like if you already have it out in your bathroom, um, you don't wanna use any chemicals or cleaners, great option. These are also great for maintenance. Um, I will probably keep using this just for like a maintenance, like spray it on there, leave it for a few minutes and not scrub. We have sanded grout and you wanna be careful with sand sanded grout, you don't wanna scrub too much. Um, so I'm probably gonna keep using this and letting it sit or even this on my grout and then just not scrub. With that one, you're kind of scrubbing. So um, honestly, all great products, recommend them all. I think the steamer probably did the best job, but again, because we have sanded grout, it's not gonna be something I'm gonna use all of the time. I'll probably go for these and not scrub. But if you don't have sanded grout, that might be your winner. But I would, I highly suggest all three of these and I would test them on your own grout because grout is different. Um, so if you don't have sanded grout, it might be different, but. I wanna close my eyes and go back, play it in my mind. A movie of us two, yeah, we were happy at the time. Can't remember what it felt like, we used to be so strong. That picture perfect sky now and looks so gray and cold. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. and you haven't said a word to me. Mm. So, before we get to the recipes, I wanted to vacuum and mop, and I was vacuuming with my shark. Uh, it's a corded vacuum shark apex uplight vacuum, it's more of a lightweight upright vacuum you know like most of like the corded big vac upright vacuums are big and bulky and heavy this one is more lightweight it's not it's definitely heavier than my cordless vacuums but it's more lightweight um, and I like how it's like a stick vacuum um, but I've been using this one a lot lately on our carpet because our dog Reese has been shedding a lot with this time of the year and so like I just need the vacuum that is has the best suction power and for us it is the corded shark apex uplight vacuum so um, and then for the hardwood flooring I was using my Tinco I floor two it's a vacuum and mop combo um, and it's one of those cleaning products that I didn't even know I needed until I had it um, I have influenced my parents to buy one and my sister-in-law so if you are on the fence I'm gonna tell you you should get it add it to your Christmas list if it's so I have totally shared this before on my channel, but I love it so much. I eat it every single week and you guys loved it. So I was like, I'm going to share it again. Um, but I made it, it's basically a chicken burrito bowl. So it's shredded chicken that I always make shredded chicken in bulk. I just put 
chicken breasts in a slow cooker with some chicken broth and taco seasoning and then we'll freeze it for when we just need like taco we want to eat tacos like a quick easy meal but i was just using that chicken frozen cauliflower rice that i seasoned with lime and cilantro and then i added in pico de gallo um, i've used salsa before um, i've used uh, avocado i added guacamole this time and some cheese you could add beans to it you could add regular rice i've done all of all of that so you can literally add whatever you like but it is my go-to favorite lunches there's not a recipe because you can just toss in whatever you like So this recipe is like a low carb, keto, crustless pizza recipe. Um, so if you're low carb, wonderful. Even if you're not low carb, it has so much flavor. The kids love it. I mean, it's just, we love it. So um, it's just Italian sausage that you cook up. And then I added in some onions, green peppers and red peppers. You could add in yellow peppers if you want, whatever peppers you want. Cook all of that up, saute it, and then you layer the Italian sausage, onion, and pepper mixture with some marinara sauce, mozzarella cheese, and then add some pepperoni on top. I forget how long you cook it for, but the recipe will be linked in the description. But it's full of flavor, and it tastes like pizza without the crust. This recipe is actually Mike's recipe. His mom always made it, so it's passed down. It's so simple, super easy, and really basic. Like you guys probably already make something like it. It's like our comfort food. There's really no recipe. You just boil noodles. We like using the rotini noodles. I think that's what they're called. And then we just use some brown, or, or we brown brown some ground beef like cook up the ground beef and then add in some beef gravy and then you mix it all together so pretty simple basic and the kids love it football game, football game? Yeah. all right so mike is making his specialty mike what is it uh, hamburger noodles is a recipe we always had growing up so he I'm makes it carrying it over <laughs> to your girls so it's pretty simple. I feel like this is comfort food. I agree. Comfort food that everyone likes. We try to serve it with a salad or some type of vegetable. But it's one of our favorites that he makes. It is. Daddy, yummy, yummy. My favorite. Is that yummy? I shall Emery, is that good? Yeah. July got stuck out in the rain, but we danced around and did my and then these are my two go-to healthy snacks. I've shown them before in my channel, but I think the energy bites, i that's probably my most asked for recipe. Um, but the first one is protein cake batter bites, and the other ones are just energy bites. They use a lot of the same ingredients, but Avery takes one every single day in her packed lunch. She eats one when she gets home from school. I like eating them like before a workout or to get me out like through the afternoon. It just kind of satisfies your sweet tooth, but you also are getting, you know, like more substantial like ingredients. Like there's oatmeal in these and then the cake batter bites have protein. So, um, it's almost like you feel like you're having candy, but you're getting other important nutrients, which I like. Um, so I will have both of these recipes linked below.
So I put them in the freezer just to get them a little bit hard and then I put them in a Ziploc bag and then we just store them in the freezer. I personally think they taste they taste better when they're cold. Um, they defrost pretty quickly and these, to, I'm in the middle of making these and Mike came downstairs and he came over and grabbed a couple right away. I mean, these I cannot even keep in fully in stock. This will probably just last us a few days for snacks, pre-workouts, late afternoon snacks, all of that. So if you guys, out of all of the recipes, I would definitely try give this one a try. I want to close my eyes and go back, play it in my mind. And this one is super similar. It just doesn't use any protein power powder. <laughs> it's just oatmeal, honey, chocolate chips, ground flaxseed, and peanut butter. Used to be so strong. That picture perfect sky now. It looks so great cold. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me. After they're in the freezer to harden up a little bit then I put them in a bag then I put them in a bag just like I do the protein cake batter bites um, and store them like this they defrost pretty quickly I'd say within five minutes or so and they're also perfect to put in Avery's packed lunches because by the time lunch rolls around it's defrosted and to her it's a snack so but a healthy snack that will add some substance to her to get her through the afternoon well guys, I am done and I am eating one of my Nature Valley almond butter biscuits. I love these, <laughs> love them. So I'm having a snack, gonna go relax for a little bit. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of fun to show you some of my favorite cleaning products and favorite recipes and go-to meals. If you guys like this, I can definitely do it again. If you guys like seeing both the cleaning and the recipes, let me know. But thank you guys for staying around, sticking around, and let's see. There will be a new video up Sunday. Have a good day, have a good weekend, whatever it is. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you, thank you. I love you guys, I really, really do. I'll see you guys next time, <laughs> bye.